The ocean today has sharks, killer whales, giant squids, and yeah, those are scary. But if you go back around 370 million years, the ocean was on a whole different level. Back then, survival wasn't just difficult. It was basically impossible if you weren't built like a tank. One of the top predators at the time didn't have teeth. It didn't need them. It had two massive plates of sharpened bone for jaws, kind of like a built-in guillotine and it could bite straight through bone, armor, or anything else in its way. It's called Dunkleosteus, and it grew up to 10 meters long. It's one of those creatures that feels like it shouldn't exist, but it did. And the scary part? It was just one of many. The Devonian Ocean was packed with predators. There were no dolphins, no whales, no coral reefs as we know them, just a chaotic arms race of teeth, armor, and speed, Life in the ocean was exploding with new forms, and most of them were weird, dangerous, and built to kill. The Devonian wasn't just the age of fishes. It was the first time the ocean became truly deadly. And if you dropped into it for even a few minutes, you'd learn very quickly that humans were never meant to be there. So let's zoom out for a second. Where are we in time? We're about 370 million years in the past in what's called the Devonian period. It lasted roughly 60 million years and sits smack in the middle of the Paleozoic era, way before dinosaurs, way before birds, way before anything walked on land with confidence. People call it the age of fishes, but that really undersells how wild this period actually was. This wasn't just some calm prehistoric aquarium full of slow swimming weirdos. This was nature hitting the gas pedal. Evolution went into overdrive. Suddenly, creatures were growing jaws. They were getting faster, meaner, tougher. For the first time in Earth's history, predators weren't just passively floating around. They were hunting, actively chasing down prey, ripping it apart, and evolving again just to stay ahead of the next killer coming up behind them. The ocean was the perfect place for this. Warm, shallow seas covered huge parts of the planet. Coastlines were wider, coral reefs were just starting to take shape, and the oxygen levels were rising, which meant animals could get bigger and more complex. But with more oxygen came more motion. With more motion came more violence. And pretty soon, the oceans were full of creatures that looked like tanks, torpedoes, or aliens, and some that looked like all three at once. What made the Devonian so different wasn't just the creatures themselves, it was the pace. Life didn't just evolve, it escalated. This was the first time Jaws really took over the food chain. Before that, most animals just filtered water or scraped stuff off rocks. Now, they were ripping each other apart, and once Jaws showed up, it was game on. Suddenly, fish were evolving armor to protect themselves. Then predators evolved stronger jaws to crush that armor. Then prey got faster, so predators got faster too. And it spiraled into this evolutionary arms race where every new creature had to be just a little tougher, or it was gone. That's why so many Devonian animals look insane to us. They weren't designed for balance. They were designed to win. And the result? You've got fish covered in bony plates like medieval knights, sharks with weird fins and strange teeth trying to figure out how to hunt, giant arthropods with claws, pincers, or stingers waiting on the seafloor for something to make a mistake. Even the plants along the coast were exploding with growth, which meant more food, more oxygen, and more chaos in the food web. But here's the thing. This wasn't just a time of monsters. It was a time of firsts, the first forests, the first reefs, even the first fish that started experimenting with limbs, testing out the idea of walking, one awkward wiggle at a time. So while everything in the ocean was trying to kill everything else, the blueprint for life on land was quietly starting to form, right in the middle of all the violence. Let's start with the one we already met, Dunkleosteus. This thing wasn't just big, it was terrifying on a design level. 10 meters long, completely covered in bone armor and its bite force, roughly equal to a modern crocodile, except with blades instead of teeth. It didn't chew, it didn't nibble, it just snapped you in half, and it could open and close its jaws in milliseconds. 
fast enough to create suction that pulled prey into its mouth. But Dunkleosteus was just the tip of the iceberg. There were incredibly terrifying creatures that could have come straight out of a horror movie. Jacolopterus, the giant sea scorpion that you already saw in the thumbnail, was the nightmare waiting in the shallow waters. Two and a half meters long, yes, that's the size of a small car, with claws that could tear through armor. It wasn't a true scorpion, but a Eurypterid, an ancient group of arthropods that hunted with brute strength and ambush tactics. These things lived in swarms. You weren't just running from one, you were running from five. Early sharks were already on the scene, but they didn't look like the ones we know. Cladosalash had no scales, a short, blunt face, and a tail that looked more like a missile fin than anything shark-like. But it was fast, and it hunted in open water, which made it a constant threat. It's basically nature's first real test run for sharks, and it worked. Orthocones, the nautilus with an attitude. Long, cone-shaped shells with a squid hiding inside. But not the slow, gentle ones we see today. These things had beaks, tentacles, and could grow several meters long. They were floating death traps, lurking above the reef, drifting just slow enough to look harmless until something wandered too close. And last but not least, placoderms, the armored horde. Dunkleosteus was one of them, but there were tons of other placoderms. Some were tiny, some were ambush predators, some were bottom feeders, but they all had one thing in common, armor. Bony plates covering their heads and torsos, like fish built out of metal. It was survival gear in a time when Jaws were still figuring out how to win every fight. And it just kept going. Prehistoric lungfish, bizarre reef creatures, spiky, jawless vertebrates. Some species were so strange, paleontologists still aren't totally sure which direction they swam. The Devonian Ocean didn't care about rules. It was a biological free-for-all one that gave us some of the weirdest and most dangerous life forms this planet has ever seen. The Devonian Ocean was a battlefield where survival was a brutal, non-stop war. Predation was everywhere. If you weren't hunting, you were being hunted. There were almost no safe places to hide. Coral reefs were small and sparse, offering little shelter. The seas were mostly shallow and open. Every shadow could be a killer waiting to strike. Creatures had to stay alert constantly moving, improving their defenses or their attack to survive. Unlike modern oceans, there were few safe zones. The seafloor was littered with predators, from giant armored fish stalking their prey like underwater tanks to giant sea scorpions wading in the sediment to snap claws on anything that moved. Some parts of the ocean had very little oxygen, sometimes almost none creating dead zones where few animals could survive. Fluctuating oxygen levels caused massive die-offs, making the ecosystem unstable and constantly shifting. Predators had to be fast and adaptable because their food sources could vanish overnight. This environmental stress drove evolution faster and harder. Fish grew bony armor plates to shield themselves from bites. Predators developed crushing jaws and slicing bone blades. Others grew spines and spikes to make themselves unpalatable or impossible to swallow. Many animals became faster swimmers or better ambush hunters. Some evolved sensory adaptations to detect prey or avoid being detected. Every generation brought new innovations. Slacking off meant death. The Devonian Ocean was chaotic, unpredictable, and deadly. Constant pressure created one of the most diverse and complex marine worlds ever seen but it was fragile and prone to collapse. This set the stage for massive changes to come, with extinction events that would wipe out many of these monsters, but not before they shaped life on Earth forever. As predators evolved sharper teeth and stronger jaws, prey species responded by developing thicker armor and better camouflage. This relentless arms race fueled incredible diversity. Some fish grew elongated bodies to dart quickly through the water, while others flattened themselves against the seafloor to hide in plain sight. Stealth became as important as strength. Vision improved in many species, with eyes adapting to see in murky or dim waters, giving hunters an edge in the gloom. At the same time, 
Some creatures evolved bioluminescence, glowing patterns that could lure prey or confuse predators in the dark. Competition wasn't just about fighting. It was about outsmarting the opponent in every way possible. This intense pressure also led to complex behaviors. Schooling fish moved in synchronized groups to confuse attackers, while some predators developed tactics to herd or ambush their targets. Life in the Devonian seas was a continuous test of innovation and resilience. Every niche was contested, every adaptation a potential lifesaver, and every day a struggle to stay one step ahead in a dangerous, ever-changing ecosystem. Many creatures became masters of disguise, blending seamlessly with the rocky seabed or drifting plants to avoid detection. Some developed spines or poisonous spurs, turning themselves into dangerous or unappetizing meals. In response, predators grew more sophisticated hunting techniques, ambushing from below, chasing prey into narrow crevices, or using sheer speed to catch even the swiftest swimmers. Sensory organs became finely tuned to detect the faintest vibrations or chemical signals, allowing predators to track prey even in total darkness. Some species developed complex reproductive strategies, producing large numbers of offspring to offset high mortality rates. Others invested in parental care, protecting their young in hidden nests or guarded territories. The constant pressure also fostered specialization. Some animals became expert burrowers, others skilled swimmers or filter feeders. This specialization reduced direct competition and allowed ecosystems to support an incredible variety of life forms. The Devonian seas were a crucible of innovation, where survival depended on pushing the limits of biology and behavior to the extreme. In this relentless and unforgiving environment, no creature could afford to remain complacent. Every adaptation was a matter of life and death, fueling a never-ending evolutionary arms race. Predators developed powerful jaws, sharp teeth, and reinforced armor to capture and overpower their prey while prey species evolved elaborate defenses such as thick shells, spines, and the ability to burrow quickly into sediment. Safe zones were practically non-existent, forcing creatures to remain in constant motion or find shelter in increasingly scarce refuges. The constant battle for survival shaped every aspect of life, from behavior and physiology to ecological interactions, resulting in a dynamic and complex web of life where adaptation was the key to endurance. In this dangerous ecosystem, the relentless push to outmaneuver, outgrow, or outlast competitors and predators forged the foundations for the incredible diversity and complexity of marine life that would follow. And so, life learned to survive against all odds. Every creature, no matter how small, played a part in the ongoing dance of adaptation and survival. It's a story of relentless change, fierce competition, and the incredible resilience of life itself. This is the story of evolution's greatest battleground, where only the strongest, fastest, and smartest endure. And from these harsh beginnings, the rich diversity of life we see today was born. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or questions. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay fascinated.